guys. I'm over here at 29338 Legends Green, which is in Legends Run subdivision. Let me step out for a little further. Get a look at the outside of the house. It's one of those that has the front door kind of over on the side, which I left the door open when I just went in and turned on all the lights. Legends Run is uh, located off of Rayford Road, um, which will be pretty close for you to get to work. Probably 25 minutes maybe 30 with traffic. Um, it's really not that far, but you know, all the traffic lights in the distance, I mean, uh, all the, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, just the traffic between here and there and all the lights you have to stop at, you know, it takes a little longer to get there. But you walk basically right in the front door into the living room. There's no carpet in this house, so that's always nice. You don't have to worry about pets or kiddos staining carpet. Looks like it has pretty fresh paint in here and this is in, a well-kept house and um, there's a lot of rentals in this neighborhood in legends run that are this exact same floor plan so i see it over and over and over again but it has good lines um nice wide open living room which is open to the kitchen as you can see it's your breakfast area where your kitchen table would go Back door pantry this one does include a refrigerator and it has cute um cabinets, uh, and countertops, rather. And of course, it has that little opening through the, here into the living room. Here's your pantry. And the back door has a separate little door on here that for some reason I can't seem to get unlocked. So I'm just gonna have to peek through here at, at the backyard. It's not a huge backyard, but Big enough for the doggy and the kids to have some play space. And this is, you know, from the back corner in the breakfast area, looking towards the front door into the living room. And then the living room also has an opening there to the hallway, which also has an opening to the room, which is kind of a flex room. There's no closet, so it's not technically a bedroom. You can make it an office or a playroom for the kids. Um, but it is wide open, you know, there's no door to close it off and not look at the mess if it's a playroom. <laughs> um, but it has a little niche back there. And then goes back that way. So that's kind of like the first room you walk into, you know, off of the living room and kitchen here. It's open to that room. Um, and then down that hallway is the master. And then bathroom, bedroom, laundry room, garage another bedroom and closet. So we'll go this way. This is just a <clears throat> linen closet and hallway. This is one of the secondary bedrooms. It's not a huge room. It's a little bit smaller than the others that we've been looking at today. Um, as far as overall space goes, it has those double closet doors which actually open up and lead into one another. And then at the end of the hallway is the door to the garage and laundry room. This is where the washer and dryer will go. So it looks like this house includes a refrigerator, but not a washer and dryer. Nice built-in shelves over there. And then here's your other bedroom. Again, these are pretty small. These were probably like 10 by 12 or 11 by 12. Um, bedrooms here. guest bathroom, kids bathroom here. Looks like they've got some new fixtures that they're gonna install in the sink and the shower. But it is nice and clean, so that's good. And we'll go further up the hallway, again past that little game room, um, looking over into the living room from the hallway. And then we're gonna go on into the master bedroom. The master bedroom is huge. Um, it's actually really big, but the master closet and the master bathroom are tiny. Um, this is it <laughs> for your master closet. Um, and then the bathroom. Um, you see it's a single vanity, which is fine, but it's like the bathtub's kind of crammed over here. <laughs> and there's not that much room between the wall and the bathtub. It's just a really tiny master closet. Um, and bathroom, which to me, like they could have taken a few feet off of the master bedroom and not made it quite as big and then had more room for a bigger bathroom. And 
closet, but to each their own, you get the gist of it.